Now you have the right idea. Power on. Only way to try. Open the gate. World is bigger Stop than strong. Around, you. I'm standing out in the open here, crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out. Is that it? <laughs> Just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open up. You. You want into Diamond City, right? Just traveling through. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Right? You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for par. Get on inside. Hey, so, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Is that right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. I, it all just happened so fast. Uh, you're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. You saw how mad he is. You're Sullivan, right? Hey, did I ever get the reason why you came to Diamond City? You need to write something for the logs. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? Well, who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. And we can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? I just need a little information, Danny. Okay. I can at least point you somewhere, unofficially. When you get inside the city, go to the back and around the market to an alleyway. Valentine's Detective Agency. People don't like the detective agency? Look, all I can tell you is that we hear a lot of complaints. Thanks for your help. Yeah, well, good luck. What's up? Got a question? Should talk to Sullivan. Stinks like humans here. Hey, kiddo. 
How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, lady? It's all in the paper. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Sure. So you better be careful, newcomer. I believe you. Thanks. You're a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. Yeah, I'm the new girl. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. Diamond City surplus. Everything you need. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. High quality protection for sale. Prescriptions filled. High quality Kim. Right here. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. Combat zone. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Stay clear about Does you. anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. Hey, I'd love to help. 
But there's the small matter of expenses. Money, huh? I, I do have 125 caps in the old rainy day fund. I'll find him. You Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want history. Ahem. Hello. Can't Hello. believe you eat that food. Hey, hey only one thing worth that buying trader? dug out in. I'm from Quincy. That's the bulls.
Welcome, Patriot, to Boston Common, the start of the Freedom of Trade. Feast your ears. Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. He caught that detective snooping around him. What does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. No one can 
recolher. Over Getting here. Started. Move here. Okay. Here. Strong will get it done. Wait there. Hold position. Stay here. Head over there. Strong confused. Grab that. Leave Go it there. Too strong. There. Good idea, human. Wait. Get him.
I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't. <laughs> So I got a question. Why the hell? Hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys. Oh shit! Where'd that come from? Hear that, human?
How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? like cap so much hey you I don't know who you are but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't come I love the irony of the reverse damsel in distress scenario. The question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? My baby's missing. His name's Sean. He was kidnapped, but I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's... Malone's crew here used to be small time. out of the old neighborhood by bigger players so they found this place don't know what happened to the previous owners but they're not exactly around to charge the rent empty vault perfect I and loud, huh? Well, it gets the job done. Bad for whoever cleans up the floors. This door's on the fritz. Let me see if- Hey, Valentine. You really want to do this here? With these human cockroaches around every corner? Almost got- it. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side.
Wait. One way to get that cool pumping. Gotta pick up my feet after I knock you off. More stairs? Who built this damn wall? The fitness instructor? Really strong. Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked this. door. idea how much this is gonna set me back. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two ah! Okay, who's next? Get him alone. I think he's lighter or heavier with all those holes in it. Well, the bullets probably add a few ounces. Good night, Prince. Here's to all the old days. It's gonna be an awkward conversation with Darla's parents when I tell them that my daughter bit the big one. Well, at least the case is closed. Let's get out of here. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface.
Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. I have my ways. Really? <laughs> well, I'm glad those ways included shooting down mobsters. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Lead the way, Nick. All right, let's move fast. Oh, God, it's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. Every cap we agreed to for finding him. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. We were in a vault when it happened. Uh, vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground. Right. What else can you tell me? My husband was... murdered. It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. 
Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but... But I remember they... They called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. Anything else you remember? Mm -hmm. We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Well, that confirms it. Uh -huh. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Either way... You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Uh, not much to go on. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I might have. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, red... And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. It's Sean. It, it has to be... Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. <laughs> 